Hello, this is Witch Nikki. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting ready. Go on my ride. Hope you all are enjoying your day or evening. Whatever you have going on. So, anyways, the uh, gardener across the street was making some noise. I had to lock up the garage anyway. So, um, I'm going to put you down in the basket like we did the other day. I'll ride along half an hour-ish. And here we go. I'm trying to make sure that you're going to be okay. I'm trying to decide which way I should go today. What's going on here? Just got to check out a few things. Always check the pressure in my tires. And make sure that the, uh, the bolts that hold my wheel in place are on. Yep. <coughs> I wish you could see forward. There's not very much at this end, but that's where we're headed. Over my shoulder. And that's what's back that way. So, yeah, not really too much. If I see anything like yesterday, I'll stop and show you. So, it's a nice sunny day. A little bit of a breeze. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's kind of warmish. It's nice. I just want to put... <laughs> this is it for... Um, makeup effects. It's just a little bit of, a little bit of lip gloss. To... Okay. And I always carry my, my ID, a little pouch in my pocket. Do not carry any funds, money, or anything. Nothing. Just, just me on the road. Right in with Witch Nikki. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, going up track a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. Got it. You can see me. Okay, I can see you down there. So I know you're going to be able to see me. Well, I watched yesterday <laughs> my video, and oh boy, Whew. I get kind of distracted by the stuff going on here, watching the traffic, uh, stuff like that. I was telling you about why it took me so long to learn to ride a bike as a kid. My stepdad, uh, the man who raised me, uh, he was in a very bad accident with a friend. His friend died in the accident. My dad had a gash from about the side of his nose all the way like to the, about to his ear or about to the chin, somewhere like that. So, he didn't die in that accident. He didn't die in any accident. He had a few accidents after then. He was in the army. Um, stuff like that. His death came from the lack of wanting to do what was right for his health. After my mom died, he just kind of just sat around, doing nothing, 
nothing for his health. He was diabetic. Uh, he um, drank beer, but he drank. And he um, he'd go out gambling. So that was another addiction he had was gambling. briefly there for a second. It tips forward. Let me stop right here. I have to try to decide where I want to go today. I hate driving around in the neighborhood. But to get to that other place that we drove, rode around the other day is a stretch. Not too far. I'm almost there now, see? This is what we're driving by here. Hollowfield Park, across the way. Right here at uh, Excelsior. Okay, so. I'm trying to put you down there a little. I want you up enough that you could see me and down enough that you don't fall out. So, my dad was diabetic and. He didn't, he just kind of stopped taking his insulin. Hi. Postman. I have to make sure that I'm going right away. And people even crash down out. And I don't like now, not in this immediate area, but Norwalk had an area a little, a little ways from here. Last night, there was so much uh, sirens going on. All night, helicopters. I think there was more than what was being told. Now, there was a three people shooting, and uh, from what the news said, two people injured, <coughs> one person dead. Now, what I'm stopping here for is something I am just pissed off about. I'm gonna try to show you. You know, if I put you down there in that area. is the uh, charred remains of a Christmas tree. Now, the city of Norwalk sets out a specific uh, date for you to set out your Christmas trees so that they're uh, picked up by the, not really by the trash, but the same company. They pick them up and then they um, use them for compost and uh, ground covering not like that they chop them up and everything of course so this here is disgusting why because California has been burning for several months we've had red flag warnings and some idiot decided to come out here and torch this tree that somebody had put out here I don't know. It seemed like it has traveled a little bit. Like sometimes they do that, you know. Somebody carries them along and then drops them and say, "Okay." Now it could have been kids or it could have been somebody careless with a cigarette. I'm not sure. But the point is, when the city tells you to take out your tree, then take it out. And if you don't, then make sure that you dispose of it properly. There are city dumps around. People could be taking their tree dude. They don't have to leave it out here to get, uh, I thought I heard a car coming, but it's on the other side. See, this is split by a little island there. 
so let's keep going yesterday I was in my car and right here <laughs> right here is uh, Dartmoor and Excelsior and you see that there's a stop sign right there one over there and whoop. you can't see it from this side but there's one over there too you can see it says stop on the street and there's a stop sign there yellow lines indicate a school crossing zone yesterday I went from the crossing right from here I waited made my turn to the next one and I was going to turn left to go left and the uh, crossing guard was crossing kids and I was waiting but there was I could not turn into that lane right there and it was a green light so the green the cars were coming past me and I was waiting for them then when she got across and the light was red over here uh, it left the traffic coming over here car after car after car so it left me here at that area right there for a few minutes couple couple minutes and all the parents over in this area were honking at me. And then somebody came up around me, did not stop, went in front of me here, and continued on down the street, passing the crossing guard and children who had just finished crossing the street. So, yeah this is kind of a dangerous and busy intersection I don't like this area at picking up time or uh, dropping off in the morning or in the afternoon and that's why because people are not safe driving around this area here again waiting for my turn this is what I think if you do not pay for the repairs on my car if you do not pay for my car insurance, my health insurance, and there's no way in hell you can replace my granddaughter. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Lady just like was gonna take right over me, and I looked, I gave her the eye, you know, because you should give eye to eye contact when you're crossing the street. they know they see you see them they see you be aware of your surroundings and what you're doing so therefore you do not get to honk at me you do not get to tell me to hurry up and make my turn Some of the dirtiest looks from people. I don't even know why. I'm not that bad of a person. Now, here we go.
anxiety just crossing the goddamn street, you know? Sorry about my language. Oops. But, uh, there you go, you know? The lady back there. I had, I had given her a look like, okay, I'm crossing now because it was my turn to cross. And, um, she kind of gave me that look like, you know, like, okay, go on, you can go. <laughs> yeah, hell, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, I can go. Yes, I can, because it, it does say that I'm supposed to go, and you have the red light. You are not supposed to go. <sighs> Open house today on Thursday. Thursday morning. I don't like that they put these signs up here in the area where I'm supposed to be crossing or anybody's supposed to be crossing. So. See, it's, it's, it's times like that I get a little bit distracted by something that's in my, that I'm coming up to. And I forget where I was or what I was talking about. But that's okay. <laughs> um, it's just really hard to, to make a decision about what um, when I'm going to go in the traffic and all of that, I have a way to do things. If I'm at a stop, and if I'm going to turn right, for an example, because usually those are kind of tricky, left turns okay if you got an arrow, perfect. I will go out of my way to find a left turn, or I will just wait until I see nothing else in my way or it's perfectly safe for me to be crossing i don't cross if there's like say one or two hundred feet away and that's about a link from telephone pole to telephone pole i've been told about one to one to two hundred feet uh, i don't um I wait, is what I do. I just wait. I go forward a little bit to kind of look to the left and see what's coming. If I can see something. I look through the uh, windows of the cars. In between them, if I can see anything moving. Um, this is if I'm going to be turning right. the monster drink place and it smells like really sweet stuff <laughs> I don't know it's like something in that flavoring or something that's very um, almost overpowering <laughs> I don't know what it is they have enough chemicals in that drink to mess you up I think, if not, I'd wait, ruin your blood sugar and all that crap, because it's got a lot of sugar and uh, stuff in there. Alright, this parking lot is sometimes where I make a turn around. There's no, nothing around here. I don't know if I'm allowed to show the monster trucks. <laughs> oh, I might get, uh, what do you call it? Somebody might not like that on uh, YouTube. I know it seems like I haven't gone very far, but I have. 
is one way that I show that I have gone this kind of a distance is um, recording my travels for the day. It's, I could put it to private if it, if it don't turn out too good or informative or funny or entertaining. Then I'll just put it to private and go on. I'll spare you all the weird and wondrous details of which Nikki rides. <laughs> now, when somebody has given you the right of way, you give them a gentle little like, hey, thank you. You know, to let them know, hey, I saw you, I saw what you did, thank you very much. Okay. No, I'm going to get one from the side. That way I'll know that I've gotten it. Not that it, that anybody wants to see monster drinks, unless you're a fan of monster drinks, so. Alright. I don't down them, diss them, or whatever. Down them, diss them. Alright, there you go. I don't know if you'll see it because of the sun. That monster branch. I'll know better. It's it's like I'm trying. I'm learning here, okay? This is more about me getting out and sharing what I do with y'all because I know that you've been used to me reading books to kids and now you're going, oh, now she's just trying to do this and she's trying to do that. That's it. And, uh, but I, I, it's not really like that. Here's kind of what's going on. During the school break, we had some things going on. That well, was a little winter break. And um, I think after I get down to this corner, I'm going to go down that one street where I saw that T-Rex. I'm going to ride around those areas a little bit. This one could be kind of loud and obnoxious. I'm surprised y'all could see me. Because I got a, a light here and, I mean, a reflector here. Don't really need that right now. You can see me. Reflector and the light. I use in the night time. Let me get away from this truck before I go on with what I was trying to say. I'm not going to read the sign of that open house. I do not like these. <laughs> Went off a little curb. Bunch of dogs barking at me. This here's blocking the walkway. You're not supposed to be blocking the walkway for anybody. Because if somebody's coming along, like a mom with her stroller or some kids, I mean, sure you're going to see it, but here's a mom pushing along the stroller, and there it is, right in the way. 
how is she supposed to get it moved? You know, it's in the way. Anyways, so, I'm writing a, a novel, as some of you know, and I am, have been having a cold with a cough, and so, therefore, saw the doctor, and the doctor said, you need to ride your bike again. You're gaining a little bit. Oh, now it's, see it's trash day over here now. <laughs> I thought we was over the trash day, but we're not. Over here in this neighborhood, they got a trash day going on. I guess they switch. This day they have the, I mean the, the other day. Well, I saw that, that some of the people had their trash out yesterday. It must not have come around, or maybe some of them just put it out early, or I don't know. Okay, so yeah, I had a few things kind of stopping me from doing that. So I said I'm gonna take like a wintertime, little winterish break of reading the stories, and I even had a Google Home Mini read you a story. Don't know if you like that because there was no pictures involved. Like us, you have to use your imagination. Put together the story how you want to. All right. Yep, there is the, um, I don't know if you could see him from here. I can't zoom in, but there he is. And To the left, uh, no through street, dead end, and over here, this goes back out to traffic right fast, but I have to keep going. I swear to God, dog, <laughs> whoever, I'm sorry, but. So, oh, hang on. Okay, well, what I'm going to do so I can do a couple more, at least one more lap. I've already been out here uh, by my clock 30 minutes because I set like a clock for about 30 minutes so I know when to get home by. And I'm probably just going to get on home from here, call it done for today. Even though I had a few more stops, I'd kind of like to go around one more time. So, basically what I'm going to be doing is a couple of these little videos, maybe. And then I'm going to get back on to the story reading. So, I love you all very much. Have a good day. And I'll be getting in. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me do. I mean, I'm not going to do all the things that some people will be asking me to do. I'm just not. Amongst the things that I've done, story reading, talking to y'all, uh, going for these rides, or just keep doing what I'm doing. So, until next time, Witch Nikki, thank you very much.